In this video, I will demonstrate you Ergo Wallet's cold wallet feature and why it is the solution to store your Ergo as safe as on a hardware wallet. I'm Benjamin, or Mr. Stahlfelge, developer of the Android Ergo Wallet. We all know the advice. For best security, don't store your seed phrase on an online device. For doing so, we can use a paper wallet, a cold wallet, or a hardware wallet. The paper and cold wallet have a major drawback. You can't send funds without going online. That's what you need a hardware wallet for. But not anymore. Ergo Wallet can send transactions offline by using a second device. That means you use an old Android device as your cold wallet and your daily Android device as a gateway to the Internet. Chances are high you already have an old Android device lying around. Me? I have a pile of devices too old for everyday use, but good enough for signing transactions. I'm using a Moto G 2014 now. So for this demonstration, I prepared this device, I factory resetted it. Then I put it into flight mode so that it is safely not connected to the internet. I sideloaded the Ergo Wallet APK and I've set up a new wallet and sent some funds to it. Of course, you can't see that I've sent funds to it. It has no access to the internet and therefore can't show my balance. And of course, it can't prepare a transaction and send it without internet access. So that's what I use my daily driver for. Of course, always connected to the internet. And um, I will add the cold wallet as a read-only wallet. I scan its address and add it. And yeah, I can see my funds. Now, I want to send them to a good friend of mine. Um, well, that's enough for him. He wants to have some Kashti or Kushti, I don't know. And I hit send. So and you see a first difference. Instead of asking for my password or my fingerprint, this only shows a QR code with the information of the transaction to sign and I can sign it with my code device. For that I need to scan it. And that's a bit difficult. 2014 is some time ago and the camera has problems. Yeah, now it worked and I'm seeing a confirmation screen for me to confirm that this is really the transaction I want to sign. So I see amounts to spend, yeah, some ergo and 500 kashti. Only the token ID is shown because this device has no access to the internet and can translate the token ID to the display name of the token so it can only show the token ID. You have to verify yourself via Ergo Explorer if you need to. And the outgoing amounts, my friend's address and the free address. So I can confirm this and I need to enter my secret password now in order to access my secrets. Oh, this takes some time. The device is not faster with screen recording on and now it shows a QR code with a signed transaction. And that's the difference here between directly connecting to the internet and using this mechanism. You have only this QR code going back to the hot device 
and with some technical knowledge, you can verify what contains this QR code, what this QR code is containing, and can check that it does not contain your seed phrase or other secrets, but only the signed transaction. So with my connected device, I can now scan the signed transaction and it was sent to the network and the amount is sent to my friend. Yeah, already unconfirmed. Perfect. So, I personally think that this is a good alternative to dedicated hardware wallets. The security level is basically the same. A hardware wallet is secure, of course, but uh, this coded functionality is also secure. You have no access to the internet with your code wallet device, so you are absolutely sure that your secrets aren't sent to the internet. The differences between both approaches are more regarding usability and mobility. Um, the Android cold wallet has a big display and can show you the transaction that you are going to sign very conveniently while a dedicated hardware wallet with a very tiny display won't give you so much um, overview over the transaction. But of course, uh, the dedicated hardware wallet is more mobile than this mobile device, um, which is uh, a small device, but um, always carrying it around is not everyone's cup of tea, of course. So um, I hope this video was useful for you and so that you've learned about the cold wallet feature. The moment you see, so you watch this video, you can already try the feature with version 1.4 of the Android Cold Wallet. It is available. I would be glad if you try it and I'm looking forward to your feedback. Bye for now.